Hello, Sagittarius. It's really good to see you again. This will be your January 2020. And in the holiday spirit, uh, some of my neighbors are blasting music a little bit loud. Hopefully it won't detract from your experience. I did listen back on the headphones and I didn't feel like it would ruin it for you. I guess that's up for you to decide. This month I'm using my Tarot Mukha. Art Nouveau deck, as I love Art Nouveau. I also have some crystals, so I have this piece of a, it's a slice of a quartz stalactite. So you can see it's got the matrix in the middle, and then these crystals on the outside, which I really love. And of course, uh, this is an amethyst point, which was, I think, of all the crystals that I have right now, this is the one that I've had the longest. Um, a gift from a high school boyfriend. And it's got all these little fractures inside that make it very iridescent. I love that about it. But let's get started. This will be for the sign of Sagittarius, uh, sun, moon, and rising. And I, for example, have a lot of Sagittarius in my chart, or, you know, like a few placements. So if there's any placement planetary wise in particular that you'd like to know more about you could watch this reading but at that point I would also suggest getting a personal reading which will be much more specific to you Right, Sagittarius. Well, it's been a pretty good year, right? I don't remember anything catastrophic landing on you at any point during the year. Let's see what is going on for January 2020. stack to the stack. Alright, now I'm going to lay these cards out like this so that they'll be facing you. The whole re reading will be facing your direction. got the nine of swords and the four of cups so you're worried you you have options right 
you have options here that don't appeal to you and it's keeping you up at night very interesting so far and that's just the first two cards let's see what else we have here in the past we have the king of wands now you a fire sign would definitely be resonating with this king of wands energy it's a very potent creative force you're very capable of manifesting your own destiny um, king of wands is kind of similar to the magician card but not quite the same but you can see that they are both actively using this implement of the wand Interesting, another court card. So in this present tense, we have the Knight of Cups. And what's interesting about the Knight of Cups is that you can see he's holding the cup, but he's not holding the horse's reins. The horse is kind of just wandering around doing whatever it wants to do. He doesn't really care what the horse is doing. He's more concerned about his emotional state here that he's holding aloft. So for you to have gone from this to this, that's very interesting. Let's see what's going on in the future. Oh, we have the moon. Now the moon is a really interesting card. It could have to do with things being obscure but coming to light. It could also be about arts. And you can see here this the moon card has actually a very good representation of the tree of life in that this central figure would be the middle pillar and then we have on either side the pillars of mercy and severity. Um, and if you study the tree of life, you know that um, anything that's manifested here on this plane uh, first starts out with God and then is gradually filtered down through the tree of life to our plane. Now, uh, Yesod is the sphere of the moon, the Sephirot, and I can go into more of this in a different video later, but um, as far as creation is concerned, what we have right now is the sphere of Yesod, which is the transitional point at which things begin to make their descent manifestation-wise into this realm. So that's coming in the future. So it looks like no need to get wrapped up in the emotional states of it. go like that yeah let's look at the goal or destiny card we have the king of pentacles right so look nothing to worry about nothing to worry about at all whatever it was that you started way back here it's going to be coming to fruition and it looks like it was a monetary a monetary manifestation that you were gunning for so 
This King of Pentacles is Earth energy, so it could be having to do with business or any of the specific Earth energy traits, but usually Pentacles are money. What do we have here? We have your place in the world, in this realm. And it's the Five of Swords and it's reversed. So this could either be that you had a victory, but it was at the cost of your interpersonal relationships, or it could be that someone else had a victory over you that led to you being alienated from them. So that would make sense then in the context of this a lot more than what was previously present over here. So that's that's good. That's clarifying. That's good. Um, what we have here is how others perceive you. Now look, that's the Queen of Swords, right? Yeah. So the Queen of Swords is very smart, very guarded with her words, very clear about her thought processes, you know? Um, but not an open book as far as communication and logic are concerned. Um, it's an air energy, but, um, I think probably you're not making your intentions fully known to people at this time, which is good, which is reasonable, especially if you feel like you've been hurt in the recent past, in this recent time. Um, let's look at hopes and fears. Oh, okay, so we have the Ace of Wands and it's reversed, which means you're afraid that you're not going to be able to manifest. But I don't see that as being the case at all. That's definitely not what is present here in the cards. And let's look at the final outcome. It's the devil. So uh, be very careful, especially in the holiday season when there are a lot of temptations out there as far as uh, substances are concerned. Um, a lot of people are feeling lustier than usual, shall we say. Um, it can be very easy to get wrapped up in the temptations of the physical world and that could do something to block your manifestation of this in the direct future but because this is the final outcome card and this was the goal or destiny card uh I think your timeline would look like this, right? So we've got the, the manifestation coming down from Yastod to Malkuth first. So that touches down. And then we have you manifesting that result. And then if this is the final outcome card, that says to me, that if you come into this money, it's going to influence you. It's going to change you. It's going to make you susceptible to the limitations of the flesh. And you might, if you have an addictive personality, or you find yourself pulled into um, hedonistic situations that um, this could then 
you could then shackle yourself to the devil. So I think overall your manifestation will come into being, but it's important to look at how your mindset during this time because money doesn't really change us, does it? We were always that person. And then when you get money, your possibilities become different. So it's not that money changes you. It's that money changes your circumstances and makes it possible for you to either be a really great philanthropist or... A much better screw up much better at screwing up so uh, really look at why you're worried what are the things that are worrying you do you uh, do you owe money to people who are not um, not good people one could argue most of the people that anyone owes money to are not terribly good people but uh, there are some that are more restrained by legality than others. Um, there are definitely people out there who will murder you if you owe them money and you don't pay them back. I wouldn't wish that on anyone, of course. And look at why you're feeling like this. Why is it you feel like none of these situations are good enough for you? And then, you know, mostly and truly, um, you as a Sagittarius are a mutable sign, but you're a fire sign. And so for this Knight of Cups to show up in your current position shows me that you're definitely lost. And that's the perfect vulnerable space to be in to end up in this tied to this situation trapped by that situation so just be very mindful of that because otherwise all of this will be great for you all of this will be perfect for you but it's up to you to avoid the pitfalls of success Thank you so much for joining me, Sagittarius. I'm really glad to see you again. Um, again, I left some information in the description about how to get a personal reading from me and my Patreon. If you enjoyed this, please do like, share, and subscribe. Um, I really couldn't do it without my viewership. I really appreciate your support. And I'll see you again soon for the yearly 2020 readings.